Hey, this is YBR back with Polybridge, and this is the last video I'm going to do for the campaign for a while because right now there are these two levels, and if you go to this next area, these are all coming soon. So obviously, I can't do those ones. Now, there is the Steam Workshop, which has some things I could possibly play around with, and I may or may not do that depending on what you guys think. So tell me if you're interested in seeing things from the Steam Workshop or not. Anyways, let's go ahead and do the 24 meter low budget overpass. So we have $30,000, we have a bus and a tugboat, and the materials is just wood. Okay, we at least have road still. Like, we still got road, right? Yeah, we do. So first up, we'll just uh, make it go boom. And then, ah, that's not going to be symmetrical. I can tell because this piece is right over the red. This one's way far away from it. So we got to do reset and then, oh, what am I doing? It's dumb. I just didn't think right there. Like that and then center it up like so there we go all right so down here we'll put on uh, a beam like that and we'll do the same over here perfect now we connect it up so we'll do like that for that maybe i'll maybe do it like that i don't know nah it's probably, it's probably best when every piece is about the same length so you know something like that would be ideal Unless it can't reach. And that one's not the same, is it? This one was lower. Uh. It still don't look the same. What gives? There. That's the same. I'm like making sure. Okay, that's uh, that's symmetrical, yeah. Does that hold up enough? Is that like enough strength though? Yeah, it looks like it will be. So now we gotta worry about the uh, center part right here, and I don't want to go too high on that, so you know, something reasonable like that should be fine. And we could go out and just connect everything up, and maybe it'll work, or maybe not. I don't know. It seems a little too easy so far. Like this should be a little harder. I think I kind of did this backwards in terms of what would be best for the structure, though. Like, I don't think I should have done it the way I did. Oh well, I'm trying to fix it, it's like, but I don't know if it's exactly uh, fixable. I may have really made a mess. So, <laughs> this bridge is never gonna work, I know it. I messed it up, I messed it up, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna make it work somehow. All right, it's, uh, oh, okay, so this, it looked like it was that lower area did not hold up, and then it also looked like something in the upper area didn't hold up as well. So I'll try to watch both. So this one, which breaks first? The upper area actually breaks first, which puts more force on the lower area. Interesting. So I need to reinforce this upper area. At least uh, initially, that's what I'm thinking. Wait a minute, that's not symmetrical. There we go. That's symmetrical. So I could do this. And then... Remember, I want it straight above it, probably. Straight above that. And that should make it a bit stronger. But now I just gotta get all the way down there, because obviously that's not gonna help the part that broke, right? Yeah. It's not gonna do nothing to help it. It's just lazy like that. Oh, come on, why can't I place that there? All right, get off! So we go like, something, doom, doom, doom. Like, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Then we can connect. And then just stretch them out to be like, kind of straightish. Yeah, like that. I think this will work. And then I gotta connect them. So this is a really non-grid non -grid design. Like, normally I don't do- Why is that side breaking now? I'm just designing this side and you decide to break? Come on, what's up with that? Too far away. Too far away. So close. Like, I didn't even really move it. But whatever. Okay, and connect it up. Hold! Does it hold? No! Oh! Alright, what exactly broke first? 
It was so close and then something snapped. So it broke. And oh, it was like oh, it was the lower section or was it up here? If it was up there, that should fix that issue. I'm running low on money though. You better fix it. That better fix it. Uh oh, it was not. It, that was down here. That last break was down there with all these pieces. So maybe I need to uh, make an extra support down here, but that's gonna kill my budget, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, I can do. Yeah, my budget's gone now. Maybe I don't need this piece after all. Maybe that's the solution. Like, I had a piece I didn't need, so I compensate, and there we go. Not- No! Alright, does it work with that piece, then? Or do I still need to reinforce things more? And don't look at the budget. It's false because I didn't undo to build it. Oh, it's still broke. It almost looked like that piece was causing issues, the way it kind of- I don't know, it just it looked weird. No, it wasn't causing issues. Maybe what I could do is bring in the supports over there like that. Which is just a tiny bit over budget still. How annoying. Let's see what happens. This one's a... This one's a little bit more difficult. Oh, what broke? What broke first? Like, everything broke, but what broke first? The bus is literally flying on the bridge, Jai, a little bit. Like, that's causing unneeded forces on it and stuff. Maybe if I, uh... Like this something like this, where I kind of brought everything down a bit, although that has a huge increase in cost probably for wood. Well, not huge, but measurable. Maybe that'll make the bus less bouncy. How is it breaking? What? It broke sooner when the bus was less bouncy? That don't even make sense. Oh, this piece broke? Maybe that was it. I don't even know how I broke that piece. Oh, the boat's doing something. I saw it. The boat was like messing with you. Here, I'll show you. You can see that the boat pulls a piece outwards. Right there. There it is. I think it's the boat that's messing with it. So I just got to go like, no grid mode. Whoops, no grid mode. And just inch it up. Just like tiny, tiny bit. Get out of the red zone. No parking in the red zone. There we go. Oh! Well, we're over budget anyways, so. I gotta figure out what to do about that. Okay, does this part need it? Is this part needed then? Because if not, I can repurpose that for a lot better usage, probably. Okay, good. So I don't need this whole lower section. And then I might be able to put a support right there. And then it might work! This is fiddly. That made it worse! <laughs> Wait. How did that make it worse? It literally broke sooner. Like before, it was so close. What happened? All right. Um, let's do this. How about just something like that? Just odd shape supports just to kind of hold it a little more differently. Like it only needs to hold up for a second more. Not even a second more, like a, 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 a fraction of a second more. So I just gotta tweak it, tweak it, tweak it until that happens, really. Don't know how long this is gonna take. Oh, come on! Okay, what's breaking? What part is breaking, for sure? I wanna know so I can actually improve the right section. I mean, obviously, this piece... I can remove right there. Ooh, is it... That? Okay, it's the under supports that break. So maybe it's like, uh... The, like, if I angle them different? It'll put the weight on it different, and it'll, uh, hold itself up. There we go! See, you gotta pay attention! I don't know if that's the actual budget. Is that it? Oh, that's not bad. That's a thousand under budget, and then some. You know, I just realized something. I, I probably could have used these, like, extra supports right there, and that probably would have helped with some issues. Oh, well, I'm happy with the way that one, uh, ended up. It looks so unsymmetrical though. Oh well. I use a lot of the no grid and that's what happens. You get this ugly non-symmetrical bridge and it's just like, ooh, that's gross. 
It looks like, though, if I wanted to, if I, I can kind of grid these ones at least so they uh, look pretty. Oh, not quite. That one can't be gridded. That one could be. So that looks better. It looks close to symmetrical, at least. So it's got that going for it. All right, what can we remove? Can we remove this? No, we cannot remove that piece. That piece is an absolute necessity. Can we reduce this thing's size to uh, save some money? No, we can't even do that. What about just the last one? Wait, is the last one needed? The other side doesn't have the last one. That seems so... whacked, though. Like, it seems absurd that all of this is being supported on these pieces right here. Like, there's... I mean, that just seems crazy. This single joint is holding up the whole bridge, basically. That is... That don't sound safe at all. <laughs> that sounds very risky to have a single joint doing all of that, but I guess it worked. Yeah, I don't think I can remove this part because everything would just collapse. I think that's as cheap as I can make it, which is still pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. I mean, there, there's the real price. That's 2,500-ish over under budget. That's not bad. But I had to do a lot of not grading, which is kind of hard to duplicate. So I'll never, ever be able to build this again no matter what. So I'm going to save it. This is the first one I've ever saved, huh? I was like, I'm going to save it. All right, it's saved. Just making sure. Because I've never saved anything before. It's like, how do saves work? I don't know for sure. I think it's like this. Uh, so the next thing is the 18-meter double-deck lift. So we got $28,000, two minis, wood, steel, piston, and cable. That's what I'm talking about. More things to use. And this looks really easy, though. You just go one car straight across and the other car straight across. You don't have to, like, do one going up, one going down, or anything like that. Whoops. So then. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I get no more road. Okay, well, first things first. Let's uh, let's get one car across. I guess A goes first usually, yeah. So I'll uh, get A set up, and then I'll worry about the other one. So maybe we'll do something like um, just a simple design. Oh, this isn't real. Oh, this is a weird one because you can't do it wholly easy symmetrical. You have to come in like this and have half pieces of metal to make it perfectly symmetrical. Uh, this is an awkward one so far. Alright, so just steal all of this. Not steal it, make it steal. I made steel a noun where it shouldn't have been. Too creative for my own good. Alright, so that works. No problem. And now we have $6,000 to somehow get the other car to uh, go across it, does it? It just destroys the bridge there. So I have to, I have to do something so they don't destroy the bridge. First off, so what if I, um, um, okay, I got an idea. What if I did this? I'll grab a hydraulic here and here, and I'll make that a split joint. So it'll pull the bridge upwards and catch the car and kind of gradually get it down, I think. Uh, uh, no, 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 that's too much. You're just going to dip the car into the water. Oh, wait, now the bridge broke. And uh, now it really broke. Okay. That went terribly, but I think it could work. So let's drop this down to maybe 60%. I don't know for sure. A little trial and error on this thing until it works. So, uh, ooh, maybe. Okay, there we go. And all I have to do is figure out a way for him to get back up. Alright, so uh, let's do this. We'll do the exact opposite, basically. We have ro- oh. Oh. This is awkward. Okay, so... I need to make this a little bit lower so I can fit a road the way I want to. So I gotta delete all that. Go one lower, which means I probably have to adjust the number I just found. This is gonna be annoying. And then I can make a steel back. Now we can put a road right above it. Then we can put hydraulics that go from like here and there? I think this will work. Because that outer hydraulic should... I'm trying to visualize this. But what I'm visualizing says it comes down kind of... Yeah, about that. Oh goodness, yeah, that's not going to work. We need to uh, change this one. Make about 70, I guess. 68 is close enough. Alright, so let's see. With the modified hydraulics, 
that Carl will actually be able to make it onto the bridge. Because the change in height changed it all. Come on. Perfect. And can I go up that little extra piece? Whoa, that was close, but it made it. All right. Except I'm a little over budget. I know an easy way to probably reduce budget just a bit, though. I'll switch this out for cabling. All right, so now under budget, if the bridge holds up. And if it does, I might change out some more things for cables. It's always fun to cable the bridge up and watch it wiggle. I might want to reduce the uh, amount that bridge raises just a little bit. It seems like it... Raises just a little too much, probably. It is amazing how crazy it looks like it's going to not make that, and then the car makes that last jump. Alright, so let's keep reducing budget. We're going to really reduce this budget now. Everything's going to be cable. Everything is cable. I'm going to regret this so hard. Alright, let's see, does this work? Oh my goodness. Hold up, bridge, you can do it. Looks like it's about to go for a swim, the whole bridge. Oh, it look it's not raising it. Wait, yes it is. No, it's not. What what's going on here? The car's gonna slam into it now. Oh! It didn't break it though. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So we'll increase this to maybe like 76. And see if that'll raise it enough for the uh, car to make it on. Oh, I need to increase this one. That's the thing. No, I need to decrease it. I did it backwards. That's what happened. Oh, I can't click it. Fine, I'll get a new hydraulic. It'll be better. All right, let's leave it at 50 and then we'll tweak it. So 50 is just stupid. How about 62? 62 is a little much. I thought I was already at 68 and it didn't work. I'm going to end up putting it at 68 again. Okay, a little too much. So, what in the world? I'm putting it at 68 again, literally. Like, this is 67. I mean, it's, it's so close. Oh my goodness, it worked though. What else can we make a cable? You could be a cable too. Ah, didn't want to delete that though. Can you cable everything? Maybe. No way. It works! Does this part work? Yes! Okay. More cables! We need more cables. Come on. Good! No! That's the limit. I can't make anything else cable. Well, I might be able to, uh... Make this a cable. Let's see. No, that does not get to be a cable. I think what happens is it, the bridge kind of falls. So you see, it, it falls and then all the stress is on that cable. So you need something pretty strong to actually hold the bridge up. So you need that metal where it's like, oh, just barely holding on. And then a cable would be fine after that, I think. But, well, you can't change it midway through. I mean, the other option would be like to try to make the bridge already tensioned, which I don't even know how you would approach doing something like that. Alright, what about something like this though? Can we lower it. To save money! Saving that money, good! Well, I'm 7,000 under budget, that's pretty decent. How low can you go? Yeah, you can go as low as you want to go, I guess. Ta-da! I like that design. It's real simple, but it works great. Good design. And here's a bad design. Yeah, it's like, why are Why are you going to do a bad design? Because it's fun. So the middle's going to lift up for no good reason. Yeah! Oh, goodness! It's too strong. Let's do the opposite. We'll expand it. Does it make a difference if one's like pointed upwards and the other's down? Don't think so. Oh yeah, it did nothing. Expand longer. We need additional expansions. What are they? What are going to be the repercussions? I have no idea. Uh, actually, that actually would be really interesting as a way to strengthen a bridge midway through it. It might actually work as something like that. 
It gets real stressed out while that car's driving over it. Then you have that extra tension on that wire. And it makes it less stressed out, it almost looks like. Stressed out. It's like as a person who's having all these issues in their life and they're so stressed out. No, it's a bridge. But it does have literal stresses. Oh, it's hard to click. Stinking, stinking arrow. I want the arrow. Uh, <laughs> I bring it over and then I reduce it. There we go. Why is this one straight above it and this one's not? Oh, because it's leaning inwards. I could do that, sure. Just so it's straight above it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing exactly right now. I'm just kind of having fun. Seeing how dumb can I make this thing. Uh-oh. Hold it together. No way. Why did it break? What broke? That cable just broke. There's no real reason. Maybe I'll uh, try reattaching it. I know something weird sometimes happens. No, it's gonna break. Like, that... I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to know what's causing it. Maybe if I go... Hmm. You know, I'm not sure what's doing that. There we go. Fixed it either way. Oh, it broke. Less expansion. Oh, now I can't even click it good, though. Why we need all these hydraulics? Because they gave them in the budget. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, I guess that'll do it for Polybridge, though. And like I said, I would like to hear you guys' opinions on if I should do things from the workshop or not, if you'd be interested in that. But I will definitely do the campaign when the next area gets released over here. Uh, but until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.